Now there are some limitations to this type of research. It is very, very challenging to generalize uh, with regard to inductive reasoning and interaction research in general because you're really looking at very, very small groups of people, you can't necessarily take that data and say the observations here will fit for other groups elsewhere. I can't take my research about this classroom in Florida and make the same assertion about a classroom in Seattle, Washington or Paris, France or anywhere else for that matter. I would have to do another research project to test that same information in that new location. This type of methodology is also somewhat confusing to people who aren't used to doing this kind of research. It seems like it would be much more challenging to have to constantly refine and revise that research project. And while it can be much more challenging in that respect, it can also be very, very rewarding. The final limitation of this type of research methodology is that it really doesn't address the macro level at all. And so while it looks at how meanings are developed in small groups, it doesn't do anything to try and clear up or clarify how the structure is impacting that interaction. All right, I hope this helps. Take care. Bye-bye.